In 1970, José Dionis became the first Brazilian to earn a doctorate in plant pathology from UC Davis. Today, he's a professor emeritus at the University of Brasilia. José moved to Davis's Solano Park in September of 1966 to start his Ph.D. program. His wife Eloise arrived with their newborn daughter three months later. Initially, the, the, the fellowship I, I had was very short, was for a single man. But by that time, I was already married and had a daughter who was born in October. And uh, I came in September. And when December arrived, they came from Brazil. So I, I met my daughter here, and she was 45 days old. In a career spanning more than 40 years, Jose made significant contributions in the study of fungal biodiversity of the endangered Brazilian Cerrado, the tropical savanna region that makes up 21 percent of Brazil's land. Today, there are more than 100 new fungal species. But when he started the plant pathology program at UC Davis, he admits he was pretty green. I didn't really know much about plant pathology. And I was very lucky because I came to a department where you could get the best training possible in plant pathology in the world. Today, his expertise leads to frequent speaking invitations. He continued to advance UC Davis's impact by acquiring funds to hire three PhD plant pathologists from UC Davis to his program in Brazil. The coursework he established graduated nearly 300 plant pathologists. Of the 37 he trained, 16 became university professors in South America. Three students continued graduate work at UC Davis. All this happened because I got inspiration and I got the idea that it's possible to solve and to impact in, in major problems through a university that deals exactly with those problems that affect the country. So ecology and plant pathology were uh, put together because of the fact that I had a very good education in a university who is, for me, a great university. And I do recommend people to go to UC Davis because there you have the possibility of dream with future where you can realize things that uh, otherwise you, don't, you would not think of. He said he learned a lot at UC Davis, and not just in the classrooms and labs. He witnessed protests over the Vietnam War, civil rights, and the environment, and saw Robert F. Kennedy on campus just three weeks before his death. The professors and university leaders inspired him as well. Jose said the Emil M. Rack International Award means even more because he met UC Davis' second chancellor, then Chancellor Emeritus, in 1975. They even exchanged letters. I'm especially touched by the, the, the award because in 1975, we, the, the Davis Group at the University of Brasilia, we received a visit from Pro Professor Emil Marac, he and his wife. They visited the department and he was really impressed with what was going on. And uh, that visit, we, we never forgot it. 